hello everyone welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here you are so so welcome yeah so i started farming in africa and today i want to show you guys the update of the farm um some problems i've been facing you know how everything is going like this is just an update video um to show you what the farm looks like yeah it hasn't been easy but yeah everything is looking great so far this is the update of the farm and seriously it has not been easy there is a lot that goes into farming here in togo not only in togo you know before investing in farming there are a lot of things that you should know i'm just grateful that the the crops are picking up because like for two weeks when i grew this um corn and the beans and everything it didn't rain here climate change really affected us and I was having a panic attack like <laughs> I was like what if my crops don't grow like what am I going to do after investing so much so there was no rain and I was really really upset about it but I'm happy we are approaching June already and there is a lot of rain and it, as you all can see everything is picking up you can see even the corn everything is picking up like two days ago I was here to apply our first batch of fertilizers and I'm really happy that everything is looking great and you guys can see that the farm has a lot of weeds you know grasses everywhere and today I brought people to like clear the farm up because it's looking I don't know yeah so by tomorrow everything will be clear and you know the crops can thrive yeah so I want us to start with some of the major problems I've been you know I've been facing in this farm and uh, the first one will be rain when i grew my corn and beans and everything for two weeks uh, we did not have rain and most of them died sadly most of them you see this area that uh, the corn here is quite sparse yeah so most of the corn wa was also eaten by birds you can see like chickens in the farm as well yeah so this is like the first problem i'm facing apart from that we also have like some insects trying to destroy the leaves on the of the corn and the beans you know there are some insects in here and uh, if it persists i'm going to um, apply some pesticides to get rid of them because it's really eating up the leaves and you know it's, it's heartbreaking and if it continues like that oh my god and when you look at the beans you see that the leaves are not really healthy because there was no rain and now it has been raining for like a week and everything is changing you see that everything is is picking up because before everything was just red i was like oh my god what is happening <laughs> yeah so the farm is um, making progress and I'm very very happy about it. The granules and everything, everything is looking great. The cassava as well, because there was no rain, it didn't really like germinate, and uh, most of them were rotting. Oh my god! But now with the rain, the cassava as well is trying to germinate, and yeah, everything is turning out great. I hope. Yeah. So I applied the first batch of organic fertilizers. If you guys can pay um, attention to like the corn and everything you see that there are like um these dark substances on that which is fertilizer so i applied the first batch of fertilizer so that when the mulching is done with rain it can really um progress yeah the plants can have some progress you guys can see so the plan is to apply um, fertilizers every three weeks because you guys i have a lot of organic fertilizers here in the farm i bought them the last time and you know so i plan on applying organic fertilizers every three weeks and here in togo the mulching is done like every month so before the mulching is done i plan on applying fertilizers and i just want to see how everything is going to turn out and yeah um when it comes to the wheat people are already in the farm trying to take everything out and you know i believe that with when well, with this everything is going to work out well because the wheat as well they can affect the crops like greatly 
yeah so i'm trying my best to keep the farm as clean as possible because i don't want any competition in the farm when it comes to the corn and everything i don't want any competition with the wheat that's why i brought people to come and clear everything and you know i just want the farm to be super super clean with fertilizers and everything yeah so this is what the farm is looking like so far and this area you see that the, the it doesn't have like beans because of no rainfall the beans i grew here didn't germinate and you know i after mulching the farm i went ahead and and grew the beans again yeah because i don't have any choice like the some spaces were looking so empty and i was so annoyed i decided to grow certain things again because you know there is no space to waste here in the farm <laughs> yeah you see that even the cassava is germinating and you see the problem with the corn we have some caterpillars that are trying to eat up the leaves as well let me know um in cameroon usually we apply like this wood ash but um with a certain chemical that we don't i don't think is here in togo and it really keeps like the pests out I don't know where I can get it here in Togo. My grandma used to sell it in Cameroon, but you know, in Togo here, I don't know where I can get it. Because if I had it with some wood ash, I think my farm is going to progress. I'll, I'll get rid of all the pests and everything. Yeah, so you can see that the weeds are trying to dominate in the farm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy I brought people to like take everything out. Yeah, so you guys, You'll be surprised by the progress in about two weeks because i'll try to give you guys updates like in every two weeks yeah so you know when it comes to farming there are a lot of things you should know especially here in togo climate change is something else it's affecting a lot of farmers here in togo i don't know what we can do to really fight this climate change it's crazy you know a lot of people grew their crops and there was no rain and everything died yeah everything died is a very big factor so when it comes to growing your your corn or whatever you want to grow here you have to make your research you should know when the key periods when it's going to rain like here it rains in like early um i would say late april and it rains a lot in like late april and early june yeah it rains a lot during these key periods these are the periods that you should really target it to grow your crops because oh my god you know rain plays a very big part and yeah you can see like some of the granules were even dying because of too much sun yeah i even grew some yams you can you can see because of the rain um it's like popping out already oh my god you know there's a lot that comes in when you want to farm and when it comes to farming as well there is a lot of expenditure you have to constantly pay people to work in the farm when it comes to taking out the weeds if you can't take it out yourself because this farm is quite huge there's no way i can do this by myself so i had to pay people and uh, in, in tilling the soil you have to pay and the mulching you have to pay and you know they are going to end up mulching the farm like twice or thrice and you have to pay you get what i'm saying you have to buy fertilizers and if your farm is quite far you have to like pay transportations as well because you are paying transportation for yourself and the farmers so there there is a lot that goes in when it comes to farming and now i'm just going to like try to tell you all some of the mistakes i i did when i started this farm you know i felt like i knew too much about farming and you know i could do it myself when you want to start farming please try to get an expert to like talk you through everything you know because a lot comes in you know you never know too much because if i had to like talk to somebody who has been farming around this area there are certain things that they were going to advise me about and i will know how i can you know go go about it so i i just went into it blindly and at the end of the day you know everything was going wrong even though i'm trying to fix everything now but you know you have to get an expert to like talk you through even though you pay them but it helps because if there are certain things that i wish i knew when i started the farm 
So this was just a quick update on the farm and you know some of the challenges I've been facing but I would say um, the farm is going well everything is fine yeah and let's see what the future holds for the farm yeah I hope everything turns out right <laughs> yeah because um, doing farming itself is not easy yeah it's not easy at all 